Hey guys and gals, sweet project cars with cool trick and affordable ways to do things and simple ways to do things for the DIYer. As you know, we're a straight shooting channel. We don't mess around. We share with you what works for us. And a lot of times it's the same products, but would you respect us if we didn't share with you what works? That's the key. Now today we're talking about overspray. Julio was on vacation, so we opted to use his car, and he's back now. Julio, tell everyone where they can get these fine products. Buscar en el show más de la descripción de video para todas las herramientas. Thank you, Julio. Now, with overspray, we've had people bring cars in. They've got overspray from somebody spraying something out in the driveway. We've had people bring cars in that had house paint on their cars because somebody was cleaning a brush out too close to it. This procedure, this method is perfect. It's absolutely safe for your clear coat. You cannot use this, get this, you cannot use this on a vehicle that has not been clear coated. It has to be clear coated. Now these stripes right here are a stick on or they can be painted on safe for that as well but we did the paint here so you can see but the faded area in here this is actually overspray watch what we do we take three products three count them one two three we use this and all the tools will be in the show more of the video description again we use this and we use the old 99. You use two ounces of each. Again, two ounces of each of the products. And again, the products will be in the show more of the video's description. Julio told you where that's at. Now, as we look right here, you can see that cloudy area. That's again, overspray. Watch what happens when we use this and how to remove it, plus not take the shine off. We got some great paint videos coming up on how to protect your paint as winter time is coming again, every year it comes. And even for those people in the Southwest and the areas that do not receive snow and ice cold weather and all that stuff and chloride and salt, we have the same method will work for protecting your paint against the UV rays and its damaging effects. Now what we did was we added two ounces of each into this spray bottle. Here we go. You'll see it with your own two eyes. Now this paint is really heavy. Let's get the camera up there so you can see this real time. See how it is actually bubbling it up right in there? You can see it. It's like a paint stripper, but our own concoction that we've used for years and years and years and years, and it's absolutely safe for your clear coat. This is uh, what I'm trying to share with you, how it's doing that right there. Putting it on very heavy. And you can see it starting to run down right there. All you do is take some old, clean, old microfibers and you just do this number. Watch. You ready? Now, would you ever spray your car unless somebody did it to you maliciously and they were trying to wreck your car? Look at that. It just crumbles off. Now we just spray a little more on. And I'm just going to do this area right here and I'll worry about cleaning Julio's car up for him later. Again, if you just had the overspray, this would be done in one spray, one, one wipe. Look at that. 
Now you're seeing this with your own two peepers. Let me show you the shine that is still there. And that was left on here for two weeks. Two weeks, mind you. Look at the shine. No damage to the clear coat whatsoever. You know that Sweet Project Cars is going to share with you the straight scoop. We're not going to give you anything that's going to damage your paint. It's absolutely gorgeous. You can see all the metal flake in it still. That gives you a bigger view. You might as well ceramic coat it. Do the whole car if you want. Ceramic coat it and you're well protected. That simple, my friends.